Hey guys, Jamin. Welcome to our quick SPI quiz. Let's get started. Which is related to this diagram? A. Dynamic aperture. B. Appetization. C. Dynamic frequency. Or D. Pulse inversion. The answer is A, dynamic aperture. Which does not happen when the image on top changes the image on the bottom? A, focal depth decreases. B, far field angular resolution increases. C, frequency increases. Or D, the far field divergence decreases. So what happens when this top image changes to this bottom image? The correct answer is A, focal depth does not decrease. This diagram represents dynamic aperture. The function of a dynamic aperture is to essentially move in and out electronically between a small crystal and a large crystal. Now when you have a small crystal, that means you're using a lower frequency, your focal depth decreases, and your far field diverges more dramatically, thus decreasing your lateral resolution. When you use a large crystal, your focal depth increases, thus causing your far field to diverge less. This will increase your lateral resolution. Instead of switching out small and large crystals into a transducer, we use a dynamic aperture. By the way, aperture is also another fancy word for ceramic, element, active element, and PCT crystal. When you use a dynamic aperture function, this will cut off the voltage to the outside crystals, making it essentially a smaller crystal. So when we go back to this previous diagram, this essentially is a large crystal. Even though there's multiple little crystals here, you treat this as a large crystal. Each one of these teardrop looking structures is a voltage coming down from the wire to excite these PCT crystals. Each crystal has its own cable with its own line of electricity. When we turn on dynamic aperture, we are cutting off the voltage to this crystal and this crystal, making it look like this. As you can see, there's no voltage. So this crystal and this crystal is turned off. Then these crystals are turned off, followed by these crystals. So in this diagram here, we're only using three crystals. This right here is a small crystal compared to this one. When we use less crystals on the outside and make it a smaller crystal, essentially, this is using a lower frequency. This will decrease your focal depth, and this will make your far field diverge more dramatically. And this will decrease your lateral resolution. When we increase the number of crystals on the outside, this will increase our frequency, this will increase our focal depth, and this will decrease our divergence in the far field, thus increasing lateral resolution. This is a great way to switch between a small crystal and a large crystal without manually switching in and out the crystals. So back to this question, which does not happen when the image on top changes to the image on the bottom? This top image represents a small crystal, and this bottom image represents essentially a larger crystal compared to this one. What will happen? Well, your frequency will increase. Back to the options here, when we change from a small crystal to a large crystal, we are essentially making the far field divergence decrease, thus increasing our lateral resolution in the far field. Our frequency increases. This will increase our angular resolution, our lateral resolution, our transverse resolution, and our azimuthal resolution. But our focal depth will not decrease because we're using a larger crystal. So actually our focal depth will increase. So this is the correct answer, meaning that this will not happen when this changes from this image to this image. If any of you are looking for SPI tutoring, go to my website, ultrasoundboardreview.com, subscribe to SPI tutoring, and I will personally direct you in the right pathway to pass the SPI. If you're looking for mock exams, you can also subscribe to our mock exams on our website as well. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.